just how many times are we going to see it where a big corporation doesn't give a damn about the little guy down below that's just trying to make a living. It is beyond frustrating. You totally blew it. And you know, as someone like myself who runs an independent company, I know how important it is to generate any kind of revenue and how difficult it is. So to just have it squashed and stolen away from you is really bull****. There's no other way to put it. Well, Warner Brothers isn't exactly a popular company right now in the court of public opinion with some of their boneheaded decisions, new executives at the top. The whole thing is just a disaster with Batgirl, Wile E. Coyote. I won't go into all of those details because today we're here to talk about how they are infecting indie games and how they are really going to affect some great developers out there of some wonderful indie games. I first caught wind of this story, shout out to Flower Angel Ray for dropping it in our Discord channel, and the article comes from delistedgames.com. This article was published today, the 8th quote. As the week has gone on, we've seen more developers come out and confirm that they were too contacted by Warner Brothers Discovery, the parent company behind Adult Swim Games, and informed that their titles would be delisted within 60 days. The latest developer to break the news is Team 2-Bit, makers of Fist Puncher, which has been on Steam since 2013. In an update on the game's page, Matt Kane reveals that we've asked that Warner Brothers simply transfer the game to our Steam publisher account so that it can stay active. But so far they've said no, with the reason being that they made the universal decision not to transfer the games back to the original studios and do not have the resources to do so. It's a really disappointing situation to be in. The developers are unable to take control of their games to keep them on Steam and apparently can't even offer them up at a discount before they're gone. Not to mention that none of us, developers included, can say exactly when they'll be delisted. He goes on from here to round up a list of games that will be affected and some of these are wonderful indie titles. Now he does put an asterisk next to some of these games as they are no longer published by Adult Swim Games, however they are still officially listed. Some of these games include Duck Game, one of my favorite little party games, Headlander, Kingsway, Mega Coin Squad, and another game that I really enjoyed, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Now they are saying you have until around May, there's no official word just yet, but what an absolute disgrace and what a shame for these developers to be in this position where they can't even try to make money, try to save a little bit here by putting their games on sale before they get delisted. Nope. None of that allowed whatsoever. And you know, it's scary in a way, isn't it? While we do have a lot of benefits coming from the digital era of games, stuff like this can be a turnoff and it just really fuels the fire for those that still love physical products to hold on to them and not let go of physical retail. And I can understand that viewpoint completely. And you know, it really seems like whenever you're dealing with people getting screwed over by giant corporations, it's always the backbone of the company that seems to get screwed. The little guy that makes the wheels spin, the person that works their butt off trying their best to just make a living. It's an all too familiar story. I would personally recommend grabbing these games if you're interested in any of them. I'll have links to all of the articles about this in the description box below. You can see the full list and it is extensive and there's a lot of good games on here. This one really hurts. So obviously to all of the indie developers affected that made some of these wonderful games, I'm really sorry you're in this situation where it looks like you're going to be making zero dollars on your games going to forward. But hey, my advice to every indie developer out there, be careful who you work with, get a good deal for yourself, make sure you can feed yourself and the people you love and don't get into shady big deals that screw you over in the end, such as this one. But now I wanna hear from you folks. What do you think of this situation? Are you going to be affected? Are you gonna grab any of these games before they are delisted forever? Let us know in the comments below. I'm personally disgusted to see small indie developers that made some great games be affected by an evil corporation once again. It's just an all too familiar story. And you know, a lot of indie devs out there, they're gonna start thinking twice before they work with big companies again. And maybe you see more and more self-publishing down the road. Once again, Adult Swim Games going down. Looks like 60 days or so. Get them while you can, folks. The world of video games is certainly changing. Voice to the Voiceless, I will see you on the channel for more indie gaming news and coverage.